Western New England University College of Pharmacy first graduating class. They're going to be receiving their degrees next week. The College of Pharmacy Dean Evan Robinson joins us this morning to share more about the college. Great to have you here. Oh, it's great to be here. This is very exciting for you, huh? The first graduating class from the College of Pharmacy. I want to know about the job opportunities for these graduates. They're going to be getting their diplomas next week. What are they looking at in terms of job opportunities? They have the opportunity to go out, they'll take their national licensing exams, their state law exams, and they'll go to a whole bunch of environments, some of which the public sees. The community pharmacist, the one at Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, CVS, and then other places where you don't see them, that hospital pharmacist, the clinical pharmacist in the institutional settings. Right, so there's many different opportunities in the field. How has the field changed? I mean, we all know our pharmacists. We go there to pick up our prescriptions. How has it changed over the years? The profession of pharmacy has changed in a lot of ways, and, a lot, and it's mostly centered around the patient. It's moved from product-centric in essence, if you think of the pharmacist and the pill bottle you would get, we're still very much linked to the product, but it's our focus on the patient mm -hmm. and our opportunity and what we do to educate and work with patients and other health professionals to, at the end of the day, just make someone feel better. Right, exactly. That's what it's all about. And so it's, it's more than just knowing the science behind it. It's also that compassion and being able to talk to people and to answer their questions and give them the peace of mind that they need. It is. It's huge. Um, pharmacy these days has gone in and we have that part of our mission and vision values is looking at the pharmacist as an educator. Mm -hmm. um, if you think of the individual who you talk to about your health care for yourself or your mother, your father, your, your children, you want someone who can educate you or work with other members of the health care team. And so pharmacy's really changed in a lot of ways and we love looking at that affective, that people person. Right, exactly, and that's who we want to talk to when we're getting our prescriptions. Now, we're, we're actually taking a look right now at some footage from the College of Pharmacy at Western New England University. What sets you apart? What sets you apart from other colleges that offer a program such as this? Well, as a new College of Pharmacy, we had the opportunity to build something from the ground up. So the first day of, uh, we, we got there, we had a blank slate, and then we started creating. We have built a program that we think is innovative, it's entrepreneurial, we also emphasize a lot about professionalism. We try and teach our learners to not only be prepared tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, because healthcare is evolving. And once they're out of school, they have to continue to learn. Mm -hmm. We also hope that they leave with the understanding that the privilege of care is the privilege associative to giving it. The chance that someone is going to trust you to help them, and that's huge. And that's why we think if you're in a health profession, you should value going to work every day knowing that you have a unique chance to touch lives. It is certainly an incredibly important job and knowing the power you have in that role too. Like you said, more than just handing someone what they need, but also talking to them and, and giving them uh, the reassurance that they need as well. So it's, it does sound like um, a wonderful program, Evan, and, and you must be so proud. Now, tell me about the class of 2015. They are truly pioneers. If you put it in perspective, they showed up um, to the college when it didn't have a faculty, it didn't have a building, and it didn't have accreditation. But other than that, we had a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all those things being said, these uh, intrepid pioneers, if you will, showed up and they helped us shape the program. And at every step, think of when you went to college, you always could ask someone else, what is this like? They had no one to ask. Right. Yet they stepped up and they took the mantle, they took the charge, they took the challenge, and they did exceptional. And we could not be prouder of them. This is quite a celebration coming up. Yeah, very brave to go into something where they couldn't ask anyone um, what was it like. But speaking of that question, mm -hmm. if anyone is watching and they're interested in entering the field of pharmacy, what do you suggest to them? What do you say to them, this is what you should do if you're looking to get into this as a career? Get looking into pharmacy is just like looking into anything. Make sure you make an informed decision. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's pharmacy, I would love to see people go interview their pharmacist. You can't get back behind the counter anymore to shadow. It's become too difficult for legal reasons. But the chance to sit and talk to them. What do you like? Why do you love this job? What would you change? Would you do it again? Take those opportunities to learn, 
and then hopefully make an informed decision when you go off to college. Right, exactly. And you certainly have a passion for it. And this is very exciting. A big celebration next week at Western New England University's College of Pharmacy. Congratulations to the 2015 graduates. And as they go out into the world, hopefully maybe one day, one of them will be my pharmacist. I right hope here in so. Our community. It's wonderful. You must be very proud. Very nice to have you here. Congratulations to this Thank wonderful so college. For more information, you can visit wne.edu.